In 2004, Hillcrest Labs created a new TV experience. Known today as the Smart TV, Hillcrest defined a holistic system design that included the remote control, human interaction, and the user interface that would provide access to the huge array of content available on TV today. Presented here with narration by Hillcrest founder and CEO Dan Simpkins is the original home interface. The design concepts and implementations provide a unique insight into the early days of interactive TV as well as highlight opportunities for new user experiences in the living room today. Let's say um, I'm watching a show um, and I decide, you know what, I'd really like to actually use my guide. I want to find something else. So I now have a guide. I can scroll through. I can search in this guide. But I see a particular show um, that I want to record and I could pull it up and up comes a, uh, an info box, one button record, and um, I can record that. I could cancel that recording and, and cancel that. I can actually get more information um, about that particular show um, and so on. So the nice thing about this guide is that as I move the cursor around I get metadata but when it's something that I want to actually um, control, I would like to record um, or manage from the guide, I get this additional info box that comes up um, that gives me additional functionality. Now let's say that I'm going to go right to the guide um, application. So this particular, um, I'm sorry, right to the DVR application. This particular DVR is way more sophisticated um, from a number of perspectives than what we're uh, typically accustomed to. And the first and most important thing is that it uses visualization. So as you can see, instead of a list of text, we are using the show cards to uh, display uh, our content and clearly our ability to understand or quick see something that's of interest to us um, is easier in this format. The kids can find Spongebob, we can zoom into a particular uh, piece of content or um, I could go somewhere else. Um, I decided, you know what, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to catch up on my uh, last few episodes of Desperate Housewives. No, I'm, I'm not a closet Desperate Housewives fan, but um, I could zoom in. I see that I've got one of the episodes recorded. Um, I can actually get some details by zooming in. I get additional data on that episode. I could zoom back. Um, and I can remove this from the recording. I've got some controls. I have um, a uh, option to modify the series recording. This is very nice. I can control um, which, how many episodes. I can also control when I uh, start recording the show or when I stop. This is particularly important for live events or news events, um, sporting events that uh, may not exactly follow the program guide and uh, these are very typical. The nice thing is I can hover over these using the, um, using the uh, free space device, a free space control, I could scroll the wheel easily so it makes it very nice to be able to control this um, or I can use the arrows. Um, I, going back to this concept of always having kind of a, an intuitive, obvious way and a little bit more sophisticated, more efficient way, this is a really perfect example of explaining that concept. Um, so I decide that I want to watch that episode. I can pull that episode up um, and, um, and I can watch it. In, in this particular case, um, I also could say, you know what, I'm not really in the mood for watching that episode. I think I'd like to see what's upcoming. Um, and you could see that I have a series that has been recorded and I have several upcoming episodes. Um, they're, they're showing up every few days and I can uh, manage the um, process from here. I could cancel recordings um, or I could leave it um, as is. The other thing is uh, clearly this is set for series recording right from, the, uh, right from this control. I can remove the series recording if I want. Um, we could do that. And, um, and it's been removed, then we won't actually record this again. So there's a lot of uh, capability here. Um, going into the overall, the top, uh, essentially the now playing 
um, or what's available to me, I can look at my schedule. You can see all of the um, all of the recordings. So I have several uh, shows that are being set for um, for series recording, um, and I can actually show conflicts. It turns out sometimes if I record more than one thing and I only have a single tuner, there'll be conflicts. Depending upon the number of tuners, you'll have less uh, conflicts, and you can actually show. Uh, history recording as well. Another important uh, facet is the priorities because clearly um, if two things are showing up at the same time, what do I want to record first if I only um, have a tuner available? And this gives me the ability to do this. If you notice with the pointing uh, control, it's very easy for me to select something. When I select, I can use these arrows and I can move that up or down the list. So really simple. Um, control via the uh, the point the pointing interface the free space interface um, it tells me right here really straightforward how much con how much disk I have I find that in other DVRs that's a real hassle knowing how much uh, disk is left obviously uh, some other information like date and time now there's another thing that's important in the DVR obviously searching for a program um, will be important so I can click um, single button search I can actually do that via my um, global navigation button as well. Um, I could go in and decide that I actually would like to find Desperate Housewives. So I just type um, for Desperate and notice that it is a look ahead. Um, we'll keep going. Desperate, there it is. Desperate Housewives, there's my recording. I could go right there and um, immediately record the series, get additional information. So the ability to use search within, um, within the DVR is very straightforward. Many ways to access the search function, global navigation, the single button uh, function on the, um, on, the, on the DVR application. So that gives you an overview. Go back, we're watching live TV. We can control a television recording from uh, the live screen, we could go to the guide, um, or we could use uh, the DVR application and uh, manage it from there.